If mission is about doing stuff for people in need, I think that's slightly misguided as to the nature and spirit of mission. It's perhaps um, a more colonial idea where you go with all the answers and good stuff that you've got and you're there to just give that away to these people. I think it's important to see mission as working with and alongside people because the aim of mission is to engage in empowering relationships. We're not about creating dependency. People have dreams, have aspirations. They may need a help in terms of startup in um, facilitating something to begin, but um, it's not about uh, creating dependency. I think it's really important to work alongside people, um, primarily because that is the nature of mission uh, and that it, it, it recognises that everybody in a very inclusive way has stuff to offer and share and give. I believe mission is more than just doing things for people. Um, when we first got to our context in Asia, God told us to stop, uh, which was just bizarre because um, we got there and we thought, right, you know, we're missionaries, what do you mean you want us to stop? You know, we're here to do stuff. Um, but God really gave us the time and space um, to be able to be with one another, um, to set down roots together and um, a firm foundation in our marriage, uh, which was really important. Um, but also to learn the culture and to learn about the people and the language, which I don't think we could have done if we'd, we'd hit the ground running and, and been so busy. Uh, that we missed what was going on around us, really. I think the importance of culture in terms of living out your faith and expressing that um, is is vital. That you that that we understand culture. That it's it's not a neutral space. Understanding the culture in order to share our faith has been really important because um, there is such a um, a social hierarchy there, there's such um, respect expected of people that needs to be shown, um, learning about what, what people do talk about, what they don't talk about, or what stage in relationships that are very different to our own has been fundamental and just getting off on the right foot is, is, is so important because without it people just turn off. Um, if you don't show the correct respect, if you don't act in, in, in an appropriate way, people will not respond to you. We met people who wanted to start a school in their own village and we wanted to help them achieve that. But what kind of education? For them, um, coming from a low caste Hindu background, not having access to their rights, wanting to be accepted as members of civil society and wanting therefore to receive their rights, they wanted an education that would enable them, would facilitate them to do that for their future generations. So education for them was all about empowering them to bring social change. We immerse ourselves in culture, we listen to culture, we do that deep listening by participating and being a guest in the place that we live and not always thinking we have to be front and centre as the host. And that gives you a unique place and role and identity that sometimes we lack as the local church in places. And that is to say there are elements of our culture that we may, from the vantage point that we have, want to resist. We may want to have something to say about them. 
uh, and that our, our faith and our way of living can do that in creative means. So you pitch those two things in the context of, of a, a, a culture so that you're participating in part of it and at home in it, but you are also offering a critique of it that uh, is looking to a different horizon about where is home and what the world's all about. We've gone there and been present and I think we've been able to have real relationship with local people, which I think has been hopefully our gift to them. But in return, we've we've had tenfold. Um, you know, it really has been about about more about us really <laughs> the past eighteen months, um, and just how you know local people have come inside alongside us. Um, you know, people have shared our joy when you know our landlord and his family found out I was pregnant. They were they were just delighted. You know, they they were giving us food and fruit to make sure that I'd had enough to eat and um, you know all they wanted to know was when the baby was coming and um, you know wanted cuddles and things like that so it's it's been sharing joy and sharing life with people really that has been amazing and just being able to see how how people do life differently. I might even say that uh, you know mission can be defined as who you eat with you know who eats at your table <laughs> that's who you're doing mission with. Uh, one table that wasn't a table that I experienced this exchange of gifts was in the jungle camp in Calais um, over a year ago now before it was uh, shut down, where I met a group of Sudanese men and we had gone there with a number of items. What struck me in this exchange was that they immediately, having received the gifts from us, invited us to sit down on these rather ramshackle chairs and invited us to share some coffee with them. And I found out during the course of drinking this coffee that they brought it, it was like their treasure, all the way from the Sudan and they cooked it up in a pot over a small fire. It struck me again that idea that they had so little but they were so concerned with giving you the very best and making us feel welcome in the squalor of their of their demise it was deeply humbling and enlightening at the same time mission happens being involved in god's mission until your dying breath and it's not just about doing things it's about being being where god wants you to be engaging with those people that are around you and being part of building god's kingdom um, for the whole of your life